welcome to the Happiness to Hook Up with myself, Jenny Garrett, and today I'm joined by Janine Capaldi. Happinisters are engaged in the Transformational Happiness to Project online program and are a tribe of women who make things happen in their own unique way. These interviews are an opportunity to get to know each other better and connect. So welcome, Janine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really well today. Thanks so much. I'm so glad you're here. I want to know all about you. So tell us a little bit about your journey to where, where you are and what you do. Okay, so um, I guess my journey's been um, a little bit of a modelled one. Um, but I mean, primarily my, my background has always been um, working within education, leadership development, um, running events and um, coaching programmes. And um, I think it was back in around 2008, 2010, um, which is where we met. Um, I worked with someone who um, really made a big difference to me. And he, he basically kind of told me that um, I should be the one doing the coaching and not only um, organising the um, events and training for the coaches. So um, that was when I really I started my journey of training to be a coach. Um, I then did a further three years of transactional analysis psychotherapy um, training while I was working, um, still running events, leadership development events within education. Wow. Um, and then um, about, yeah, so four years ago now, I had my first son. Um, I've got two sons now. And I would say that um, becoming a mum and kind of trying to juggle um, a job that wasn't hugely fulfilling and um, and then kind of the, the coaching and the psychotherapy and all of those things, it kind of got me to a point where I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really know who I was. Like I, I had a, um, a real hope that once when I had my first son, that it would, um, it would complete my life in some way. And, and in some ways it genuinely did. Um, but what I felt, what I realized was that a career was still really, really important to me and that, um, I wasn't just kind of a mum. Um, so, um, you know, when, because I was at home a lot, I started to dabble in online training, online marketing for my coaching. Um, and I realized if I was going to do it well, then I really needed to learn some more. <laughs> um, and that led me to LinkedIn, which um, is where I spend um, a lot of my time now. So um, I really got to know the platform, got to utilize it in a way to start building relationships, start generating leads um, for my, for my um, coaching and training. Um, friends started to ask me how I was doing it and I was showing them and it started to work. Um, and so now um, my, the main arm of my business is um, helping independent business owners and like small businesses really like their, their business development teams on um lead generation through linkedin wow wow what a journey a really amazing <laughs> journey thing and and what i loved about that was you know you mentioned a man who you know just said to you you could do a bit more you don't have to be the person behind the scenes you could be the person doing yeah. the work and and how that unlocked something in you which is really yeah really powerful yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think I, I need, I, I think it was, a, it was very, uh, I felt like it was quite early on in my career, but it really shaped the way that it, that it's led really. Yeah. Yeah. But a credit to you because sometimes people, uh, you know, are given, um, you know, some motivation or given uh, opportunities or encouragement and they don't take it. So you actually took it and ran with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and psychotherapy training you know transaction analysis not to be sneezed at you know that's the major work that you've been doing on yourself because you have yes. to work on yourself to do that work um while also doing the training so yeah a woman after my own heart i'm always <laughs> that's good to know <laughs> myself always keen to learn more i think it's yeah really we're all works in progress aren't we uh, absolutely absolutely and so much changes and develops and um you know things happen at different times where things are more relevant and useful so yeah absolutely i think you know change like is is constant and um exciting Mm, mm. so you're a linkedin guru really well, you. So tell us, you know what excites you about the platform and yeah why should we be using it because so many people love twitter you know uh, lots of people love facebook 
Instagram is, you know, getting quite big now, but what's in LinkedIn? Absolutely. Well, I guess for me, it's, it's quite, I don't know, there are loads of reasons why I'm excited about it and why I love it. But I think the, the, the simplest, the simplest reason is that if you're somebody who um, would like to generate leads, generate clients and build, you know, build relationships with your ideal client, then LinkedIn is where you should be. <laughs> like LinkedIn will enable you to do that. Right. Um, and, and, you know, and that's, that's what it did. That's what it did for me. Like I, you know, I was in a position where I couldn't just go out and about to networking meetings all of the time. Um, you know, I, I, I was either when I, you know, when I started um, using it, I was either pregnant or I was looking after a child and then I was looking after two children and then, or I was working, you know, part time. So um, it really enabled me to run my business around my other commitments um you know and i still do that it still enables me to do that like i work a full-time job but i work it at all different times of the of the day which i love um and it means but it means that i can you know i can still um build my build my business through using the platform um and i guess a couple of other things is that like i think that this is, you know, and this also excites me because it means that I can, I can show people how to use it effectively. But I think that some people have a bit of a misconception about, about how to use it and what it actually does. Like, I think some people can think that it's, you know, a very serious and stuffy place to be, um, that it's just a place that you put an online version of your CV. Um, but it really, you know, there, there is so much more to it than that, than that, um, to re, you know, to really, really help you and your business grow. Um, and I guess my, my other thing that really excites me about it is that I love what comes up on my newsfeed. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when I, I mean, I use, I use, um, Facebook and I use Instagram, I use them in very different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, and I find that with, um, LinkedIn, I, I genuinely get like developmental value every single day right, from the people yeah. I'm connected with. Like, and, and I really, lo- I really love that. I think that's what makes, makes it quite a unique, unique place. Mm, wow. Well, you've got me excited <laughs> 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 to go on it now and have a good look. Um, yeah. And I, I, I definitely think that, that what you said what resonated me, with me was people think it's a very serious, stuffy place. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that women often are looking for something a bit more friendly. So yeah. sometimes they might be steering away from it, but then they're really missing out. Um, Absolutely. I mean, I mean, like the, I think that um, there's there's like a few, I guess, a, a few people that do um, similar work. Like we kind of have a bit of a laugh about the LinkedIn police, mm. who you know, kind of will say what should be posted and what shouldn't yeah. be posted. Mm. But like, you know, who cares? Like yeah. it, it's, um, yeah. you know, it, it is very different. You're not, you're not really going to get, um, you know, videos of cats and p- people right. showing pictures of their children and however lovely that is. Mm. Um, but you are, you know, you are going to get, um, um, you are going to get a lot of value, a lot of um, motivation. Um, and you know, as as you just said, like I mean, I'm connected with with so many women coaches, speakers, um, and and it's just amazing seeing the work that people are doing and and, and seeing how they're celebrating their successes. Yeah, fabulous, fabulous. So, what's something that no one would know about you? So, no one watching this would already know about you. So. <laughs> so- <laughs> yeah, so, so I have, I've, ha- I've actually had a little bit of, I'm glad that I had a bit of time to think about this one, because uh, it will make me sound really exciting. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, no, I, I really, I, I, for a while, I've had an, an idea bubbling that I would really like to write a recipe book for families. Um, and it's so, but I, my, my twist on it would be that I don't want it to just be about um what you cook and like the ingredients and what you go into making a family meal but everything that 
everything that is involved with feeding a young family can be really really stressful so you know I, I feel like I've managed to get a lot of that down like how I've managed to kind of coerce my children into actually eating things um, finding the time to cook a dinner that's more than chicken nuggets um, you know cook, chopping up a carrot while you've got a baby in the other arm that kind of thing um, and for me like I think like family meal times are really they're quite fun in our house they're really they're really special but they can be stressful when you're busy and when maybe you're at home with the kids before you know your partner has come home or you're both out working and you've got to do something quick and so I really I, I feel like I've managed to I've managed that situation quite well so that is one thing that people don't know about me is that I would love to write a recipe book for families yeah and so much more as you said so much more than a recipe book which is really really nice oh you've got to write it because now <laughs> you go out into the world someone else might take your idea so you've got to, got to get in there quick oh yeah yeah that, I didn't think about that well if there's any good publishers out there that yeah. want to talk to me then <laughs> yeah, uh, brilliant good point <laughs> So, you know, the Happiness to Tribe is a, it's a network. It's a group of people and um, uh, networks are amazing, but it's always good to think about this idea of six degrees of separation that, you know, if you want to meet uh, Donald Trump, I don't think you would, but if you did, oh, you know, there's nice. somebody, there's someone who would get you there. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I wonder if you were going to add to your network, what skill, what quality, uh, what attribute or what person would you add uh, to help yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. So um, I guess, I mean, from a, from a business growth point of view, I would love to hear from anybody who would like to know more about using LinkedIn for yeah. lead, for lead generating yeah. and growing their business. Uh -huh. um, and for, for me, um, in terms of where my business is going, I would really like to hear from some regular blog writers. So people that, you know, might write, what you know once a week or maybe even more write for other people um because it, you know this is something i do and it's something i enjoy um but i'm conscious that i could um refine how i do it refine my process um so that i can i, I sometimes find it hard to get my brain into the kind of creative um side of things and it can take me a while so i'd really like to learn some tips to um write kind of more in, in you know more engaging uh blogs and, and for it not to take up as much time as it does um but also I, I i have potential opportunities for people to um you know write write for me and that kind of thing so yeah if there anyone that's interested in blog writing and can share blog writing like kind of tips and tricks that would be great Wonderful. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. Didn't I didn't expect you to say that. So if I got <laughs> you, so that's really good. So looking for blogging support and uh, bloggers who want to maybe blog for you as well. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get some interest. To oh, good, good. <laughs> opportunities out there. So you are a member of the tribe. It'd be great to know how did you become involved, um, and and what do you get from being part of it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, so I, I've only been part of part of the tribe for a couple of months. Actually, I, I, I started in, in January, um, and I guess you know you'd agree that January is quite a key time for a lot of people in terms of uh, their development and maybe setting goals and and making changes, breaking habits. Um, and I think for me, it was um, it. I, I'd be getting. I'd, I'd kind of. Um, seen emails from you for a while and, and at that time it it's you know they spoke to me in, in January and I was like right I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do this I'm gonna go and do this course and I'm gonna I'm gonna join the join the tribe mm -hmm. um and it's been it's been really it's been really um really useful actually like it's been very motivating um seeing how people um share uh, sharing what they do and sharing like challenges and successes they have and, and, and kind of inspiring each other to you know power on and, and push through um and i also i was thinking about a, a little bit about this yesterday and that i was thinking um i can i can tend to be quite um uh, hard on myself in my work and quite serious and uh, in terms of how much i achieve and i think that 
um, being part of the tribe has actually made me realize that I can be, I can have some fun as well while I do it. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, that, that has been, that has been really, really, uh, useful to uh to, to add that it be not everything has to be so serious and stressful yeah i love that I love that add the fun to our business to our yeah. work to our life yeah. anyway. great so well what's the best piece of advice you've ever received so that's you know that's kind of like our final question one one okay. nugget that you received that was really helpful for you that might be helpful for everyone Okay. Um, well, actually, I guess it, yeah, it kind of links a little to what I've just said. And I, I mean, I feel like I've um, received a lot of, a lot of really useful advice, but this one particularly sticks with me because it's very recent. Um, and it was actually from my nan at Christmas. Um, and so um, she came to my house for dinner and I'd cook dinner for everybody and we were just it was like after dinner we were just sitting in the lounge like with that kind of familiar feeling of you've eaten loads you've drunk loads the kids are sitting there and playing with their toys and um feeling generally quite exhausted and I was still running around doing everything getting the drinks and everything and she she just kind of like pulled me to the side and she was just like just stop yeah. and she said Janine you're so good you're always so good yeah. but just because you're a mum doesn't mean that you can't be naughty sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I, after I kind of stopped laughing, because I was laughing for quite a long time about it, I actually, I, I thought about what she'd said and I was like, you know, she's, she's absolutely right. Like just, you know, just because, you know, like I run, a, I run my own business and because I'm a mum and everything, I, you know, I, it doesn't, I, I don't have to be, um, you know, I can drop some of the perfectionist side. I, I don't have to worry so much about, you know, what people are thinking and is everybody okay? And so I've kind of taken her advice yeah. around being naughty and kind of taken it more into thinking, I'm going to be shameless about promoting what it is that I do. Yeah. Um, okay. and because, you know, because I have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of faith in myself and a lot of belief in, 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 mm. in, in what I do. So, um, yeah, shameless in what I'm doing. And, um, and, and as I said before, like having fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Love your nan. I need to meet <laughs> She doesn't always yeah. come, she doesn't always come out with such profound oh, nuggets, but that one that one was a good one. <laughs> well, I just want to go out and be naughty with her somewhere. Unless <laughs> <laughs> she's got a she's got a date if she wants one. <laughs> I'll let her know. <laughs> so, how can we get in touch with you? You know, we want to start getting leads from from LinkedIn, learn how to use it properly, and really maximise um, our opportunities. What's what's the best way to get in touch with you? Sure. So, I mean, well, LinkedIn is probably the best way. So. Um, yeah, so I mean, I from my from what I've seen, there's only two Janine Capaldi's on LinkedIn, and I think it's quite quite obvious which one I am. So yeah, please do um, come and connect with me, um, and and it's always useful if you tell me um, if you've what if you've watched this, then that, then I'll know where you've come from. That's really great. Um, but you know, if if you're not currently on LinkedIn, um, then an email is great too. Um, so uh, my email is Capaldi jd at gmail.com um so yeah and capaldi is c-a-p-a-l-d-i okay. <laughs> um so it's a bit of a mouthful but yeah email or or linkedin are the best the best two ways great well i'm sure you get lots of people getting in touch bloggers and people who give blogging advice plus people who want to maximize their linkedin opportunities Oh, it's been really wonderful to speak with you. And with you. Yeah. yeah, thanks so much for your nuggets of wisdom. And <laughs> I think I'll be laughing about your nan for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to be that kind of nan too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Jenny.